Okay, question six is another integration question. It says we've got two curves which meet at this length must be, uh, or sorry, this x value must be one and this must be two. If we integrated either of those equations, if we integrated the cubic equation, it's important to know that this one's the cubic. You should know the shape of a cubic, a one over x cubed graph from your, uh, sorry, not equals, one over um, x cubed graph will look similar to your one over x graph. It'll just be a bit steeper, be steeper here. Um, so this is your, your eight over x cubed graph, which means this is your negative quadratic. So that makes sense as to why this one's um, got a maximum point here. So this one's our 11 minus x minus two x squared graph. So if we were to integrate the um, eight over x cubed graph, that would get us the area underneath the shaded bit. If we were to integrate the 11 minus x minus 2x squared, it would get us both. It would get us the grey shaded region in the question and the blue bit. So if we integrate the difference between this one and this, that will get us just the grey bit. You can do it as one integral, the way I'm going to do it, or you can do it as two separate integrals and take away the... Um, 8, 8 over x cubed area from the 11 minus x minus 2x squared area. That's not the method I'm going to use just because I think it's a little bit quicker to do it all in one go. So I'm going to find this area and in the same integral take away this and integrate the whole thing between the limits 1 and 2. Before I integrate it, actually, I'm just going to change the way this one looks because we can't integrate it as it is. I'm going to rewrite that one as 8x to the minus 3. That's now all ready to integrate. So 11 becomes 11x, minus x becomes minus x squared over 2, minus 2x squared, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and the same for this one, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power and that's between 2 and 1. This can be tidied up to plus 4 over x squared. Notice I've put it back in because I think it helps when you when you put your values in. But you could leave it as it was. Oops. Between 2 and 1. So when we put 2 in, we're going to get 22 minus 4 over 2 minus um, 16 over 3 plus 4 over 4. Take away 11 minus a half minus 2 over 3 plus 4. So that's going to be 22, take 2, take 16 over 3, plus 1, that's 47 over 3, minus 11, minus a half, minus 2 thirds, plus 4, that's 83 over 6. So 47 over 3 minus that last answer gives me a final answer of 11 over 6.